it's, it's a bit of a long story, but it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> we have time. And it's true, it's a true story. They're the best stories. At the end of the last tour, when I was here in, uh, in August, the last show, I played a show in uh, Cellar, in the maximum security prison there. Yep. I thought it would be cool, like Johnny Cash or something. <laughs> anyway, so we go, let's, let's, let's do it. It's good to do these things. We arrive at Cellar Prison, and the lady who organises it, she says, you know this is maximum security, 15 years minimum? And I think, no. <laughs> You did not tell me this part. <laughs> and I'm thinking, 15 years must be murder. At least murder. Maybe two murders, I don't know. It's definitely not shoplifting, put it that way. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think, that's okay. Don't stress. There will be bars in front of me and the murdering, killing bastards. <laughs> I'll be okay. And we get in the room and it's... It's about the size of this. It's a church. There are no bars at all, just lots of chairs. And I think, no, it's okay. There will be guards, men with big guns to protect me. It will be okay. If I get into trouble, shoot that one. He, he did not clap very loud. He heckled too much. <laughs> there are no guards. <laughs> There's just me, Andreas, the priest, and about 50 cold-blooded murderers. I'm thinking, okay, that's okay. Still, in the movies, jail always looks really scary, and the prisoners are all seven foot tall, big muscles, tattoos, cold steel eyes. That's just the movies. They don't look like that in real life. They're just people. They look exactly like that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Absolutely, Hannibal Lecter. That was there was 40 of them in this room. So anyway, <laughs> I just I played for my life. <laughs> I was really on pitch that night. I tell you, everything was perfect. But uh, it was a very very beautiful gig, and uh, I love you guys, and you're a great audience. But they were a very good audience. They were a captive audience. <laughs> But there was one guy I noticed down the front and he was smiling the whole time, laughing, clapping, and I think, 20 years in jail and this happy? <laughs> Cannot be, he must be the cleaner or the cook or something. But he was very scary looking. <laughs> and so I asked the lady, this man down the front, why was he there? He, he must be yeah, the cook. She says, no, no, he is a prisoner, 20 years. And say, why is he so happy? She says, because he's in love. <laughs> because they have, in Germany, you're a great country, you're very progressive. In Australia, we just put our prisoners in jail and let them rot. You guys teach them things. And uh, he had fallen in love with one of the teachers, the female teacher. <laughs> Though it's not a problem if it was the male teacher, whatever. Everyone is happy. <laughs> and she said, since... They fell in love and they got married. And she said, since then, her words were, you cannot touch him. You can put him in solitary confinement, take away his food. Another 10 years he is smiling, I don't care, I'm in love. You cannot touch me. And I thought, that is a beautiful story. And I wrote this song called, I Found Love. You can 
shit on my face I found love Bad luck can change Can bad men change? 